journey on the spot. But after a time, you say, God, well, I know I promised you this, but I'm going to have to just take a seat on this. But God wants you to understand today. You have to hear this because God is speaking directly to you. I don't want you to look out of your eyes sideways and say, well, God is talking to them, but not to me. God is speaking directly to you. God Amen. says, I'm not your part-time lover. As a matter of fact, I'm tired of being your part-time lover. As a matter of fact, the reason why things are all jacked up the way they are is because you made a vow to me and you have not kept your vow. And so because you have not kept your vow, because you're not honored what you promised me, because you're not following according to my word, and because you're doing everything contrary to that, until you get that stuff together, until you come and see me the way you're supposed to, then everything that I promised you will be held up because I am not your part-time lover. God has already warned us of this before. So let's look at the scripture and see what it says here. Now, I don't want you all to shoot the messenger, amen, but I'm going to give it to you the way God gave it to me, amen. And I'm not scared of none of y'all. I love you all, but I'm not scared of you, amen. So don't y'all look at me sideways. I love you, but God loves you even more, amen. So when we look here in the scripture in Judges 13 and 5, we find out that the woman, there's a parent, there's parents, and, and the angel begins to come and speak to her. And I want you to see here that understand this, that even though we're coming from the Old Testament scripture today, this is still applicable to you and I. Because you got to understand that when we accept God for our personal Savior through Jesus Christ, when we accept Christ as our personal Savior, we just can't come and give him anything. Well, we're giving ourselves to him wholly. We're giving ourselves to him as a burnt offering according to the book of Leviticus chapter number 17. That means we give our mind, our body, our soul, our spirit to him. No one or anything should come before God. And so God separates us. He sanctifies us and set us apart. The reason why you don't fit in is because God never meant for you to That's fit in. Right. The reason why you can't go around having, can't get out with anybody is because God never meant for you to be with anybody. Right. But we try to fit a circle into a square because we want to be a part of somebody or something. But I want to let you know that that circle that you're trying to fit your square into, that whole crew is going to hell burning with a flame of fire. So you got to make up in your mind what you really want from God. You can't be loving God and turn, and turn around and smoking trees as they say, or let me just put it to you clear you can't be smoking blunts as I say you can't be taking a drink here and there and you can't be knocking boots here and there either you're going to serve God or not God says I'm not your part time lover so since you want to treat me like I'm a part time lover, I'm going to treat you like you're my part time son or daughter, when you call unto me I'm just not going to answer you you can call me God, you can call me Jehovah Jireh, you can call me El Shaddai you can call me Shalom, you can call me whatever you want to, but because you act like I'm a part time lover, then I choose not to answer you uh, until you come and see me the way I called you. It's all or nothing. It's right or die. God says, I'm not your part-time lover. Come on. I'm not. Come on. <laughs> so she says here that the angel says that you shall conceive. He's being clear with her. You're going to bear a son, and there's no razor that's going to come on his head. For the child should be a Nazarene unto God from the womb, meaning that from the very precise womb woman, your child is going to be separated and distinct from any other child. So you got to understand the reason why your stuff was haywire the way it's been in your life, or even where you are now. God separated you in your mother's womb before you even got here. God meant for you to be something greater than what you are. God has a purpose for you and a destiny for you while you're here here now and breathing and living. God wants you to do more than what you have and be more than who you are. In other words, we can't keep choosing the jacked up friends and broke down relationships that we have. We got to think about doing something else. Well, that's all I can do. I can't do no better. The devil is alive. He's certified crazy. God says, I have something better for you. But the reason why you can't get Boaz because Bobo is in the way. The reason why you can't get your queen Ruth is because your name is in the way. God says, I'm not your part-time lover. So if you want a Boaz, if you want a Ruth, then you're going to have to love me full time. You're going to love me with your heart, mind, soul, and spirit. You're going to have to stop playing tickly wings. Sometimes we in, sometimes we out, God. It all depends on how I feel, God. It depends on if I have a headache or not, God. It depends on if I'm feeling all right, God. It depends on if you give me some extra money this week, God. It all depends on how I feel, God. And most talk the times we feel some kind of way. But you got to understand this part-time lover, mm -hmm, the one that you part of in part-time, he's the one that gives you breath in your body. The reason why you breathe and moving and having your being uh, is because that one you treat as a part-time lover loves you at all times. When you messed up in your mind, when you looking sideways, talking crazy, when you acting up and you're not looking good and you don't have on your spiritual armor, but God still loves you anyhow. Uh, he knew when he called you that you was going to be messed up, that you were still going to lie sometimes, and you were still going to do some crazy, scandalous stuff. He knew that you would go to the hotel and sleep with people you have no business sleeping with. 
with. He knew you were hiding around the corner and smoking. 